Hello, welcome to Escape the Box Piano. It's Dan here. In this tutorial, we are going to play a super straightforward boogie woogie piece. It's only got three notes in the bass, kind of. We're going to have a t take a look in detail, but uh, here's what it's going to sound like the complete piece. Okay, so there you have it. I love the way that Boogie Woogie is kind of like modular. Um, you probably noticed that there are some sections there that um, I repeated. This is a great thing about Boogie Woogie. You can learn one little bit and then you can just repeat it over and over and it sounds great. Anyway, let's take a look at the left hand. So we're at middle C, here's middle C. We're gonna go down to two octaves below. This C here. Okay, what are those three notes then? C with your fifth finger. G with your second finger, and A with your thumb. Well done. You've just learnt the left hand for the entire piece, kind of. This is what it does. You go from C to G to A, back down to G. And you do it in a kind of bouncing, long, short, long, short kind of rhythm. So uh, a swung, so long, short, long, short. Just want to practice that over and over again and just get that really fluid, fluent, try playing it at different speeds. And just get a regular, reliable, repeatable pattern going on in the left hand. If we were going to take a metronome, um, I'd suggest maybe a target of 140 beats per minute. That's what I just played the piece at. This is what 140 beats per minute sounds like with a metronome. And here's what the bass line sounds like against that metronome. Practice that over and over again. Okay, we've got the left hand sorted. Let's take a look at the right hand. We'll take this section by section. So section one, we've got middle C here. We're gonna go up to the E and G with our thumb and third finger. Okay, I'm gonna play through this, watch carefully. So that is section one right hand and you can repeat that as many times as you like. Let's put that hands together with the bass line. One, two, three, four.
go on to the second section. Here we go with the second section. From middle C, go up one octave. We're going to play C twice and start with your second finger and then hop onto your thumb. So, then up to E and G and watch closely this section. So, I'll play through the entire section. Here is what it looks and sounds like with the left hand against the right hand. And you can repeat section two as many times as you like or move on to the next section. Okay, I'm going to look at the right hand to the end of the piece now. Let's take a look at where we pick up from the end of section two. So we finished on C and E, down middle C and E here. Okay, so we're going to go up an octave and get your thumb on the E. Here we go. Okay, so I wasn't entirely telling the truth at the beginning of the tutorial about that only being three notes there. There are a couple of others, but they happen in the last two measures, that's it. Uh, otherwise, all the way through the song, it's what you've already learned. So we play that right up to the last two measures. Okay, and here's the final two measures. Let's slow that down, take a little bit of a closer look. So C, G with your second finger, A with your thumb. Now just turn it over onto your second finger onto the B flat, back under on your thumb onto the A, G, F, E, back to G. And now an A flat and a D flat with your fifth and thumb. And then just slide down onto the G and C. Let's just take a look at the hands together um, at the end. So we've come from so that 
that is how the ending locks together. Let's play the full final section through to the end, hands together. I do hope you've enjoyed this tutorial. If you have, you should know this piece is actually called Old Joe Clark's Boogie, and it's one of the first few pieces from a great book called The Joy of Boogie and Blues. I'm sure if you're interested, you can go and look that up online and uh, grab a copy. I'd highly recommend it. Um, there's some, uh, loads of other great pieces in there which I'm trying to plough my way through by way of YouTube tu tu tutorials. So uh, do subscribe to the channel if you want more of this kind of stuff. Um, leave a like, leave some comments. Uh, what else would you like to see transcribed? Let me know. And I'll see you again soon.